What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, coming in with some information about Dana Chanel and Prince Donnell. Um, the Christian entrepreneur couple. They have allegations against them that they are scamming people out of money. So let's just get into it. Now, the, um, a friend of mine sent me this article from News Up from up news info and i've been looking around you know reading different articles that people have wrote and it's they all saying just about the same thing that um you know philly entrepreneurs dana chanel and prince donnell are accused of scam allegations okay um the couple has been under fire by a page on Instagram that was made to expose the couple for allegedly scamming over thousands of clients. Many alleged victims were black owned businesses. <coughs> now, if that is true, I feel like that's that's wrong. That's dead wrong. And it's a shame. Now, I've came across their Instagram before. Um, I listened to some of his some of his, you know, how can I say some of his content and I don't know I just could never get into them as a couple they are a beautiful couple you know but I just couldn't get into them um, I've seen posts where people label them labeled them as relationship goals um, black love and you know um, pot the power couple and I'm just not into giving people those type of labels you know what I'm saying that's just not my thing if you're doing well that's great you know i'm happy for you but no once you get that scamming allegation next to your name next to your brand next to your business then people will side eye you and if you got if people have like receipts and proof about what you're doing you out here scamming and stuff like that then it becomes an issue then no one is not people gonna look at you different you know and they also um has made it to the shade room <laughs> It says the shade room put scam allegations against Christian entrepreneur Dana Chanel um, Pickup Steen. One of her alleged scams was recently shut down. Um, I don't know which one was shut down, but I know she has a variety of businesses. They have um, one. She has one called Curl Bible. They have Jumping Jack Tax. And I think the other one was called Sprinkle of Jesus. Okay. I'll have all the correct information in my description box. And they also have a podcast called Million Dollar Lessons. Life Lessons. So, I mean, it seems like they are trying to, you know, live a very... A comfortable lifestyle and they want multiple streams of income it's nothing wrong with happen having multiple streams of income but if you're not providing a service or if you are not coming through with a product or whatever it is that you're doing to make it, people feel like you're scamming them you need to reevaluate your business and see what you're doing wrong that's making these people say that you are here scamming okay and if you out here trying to scam other black businesses, that's wrong as well. So this is why people don't want to always support other folks because it's always something. It's always something. I don't know this couple personally. They seem like just by being on social media, a beautiful couple. They are a beautiful couple, but I don't know them personally. I don't know. I never dealt with any of their businesses, so I don't have any type of um, relationship with them. But you just never know who do, you know, and whatever it is that they're doing to make people feel like they are scamming them, they need to stop it because it can really ruin you. Having the word scam next to your business or brand can really ruin you. And then how are you going to keep up your lifestyle of living if you are, you know, labeled as that? So whatever it is that they're not you know, making good on, they need to reevaluate. It's good, like I said, it's wonderful to have multiple streams of income, but you have to make sure that you're making good 
on those multiple streams of income, especially if you if you are providing a service to other people. If you are providing a product, make sure they get that product out. Make sure whatever service that you're providing is valid, you know, because people are very funny with their money. And the way times are right now, times are are not great. And everybody, everyone's trying to hold on to their little pennies, you know, as much as possible because you just never know what can happen. So this is another time for anyone to be scamming. It's never the time for scams to happen, but you know, people scam for all different types of reasons. And just because they are they are Christians, as they said, it doesn't mean that their life is holy. It doesn't mean they live, they walk by the Bible either. Because if they did, they, they did some type of wrongdoings for this to even come up. So, being a Christian means what? They do things, they do wrongful things as well. Okay, so... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, <sighs> that is that. Um, if you heard about any of this stuff, let me know in the comment section. Um, do you follow them on Instagram? I know they have I know they have a YouTube channel and they have a podcast. So like I said, the information would be in the description box. I don't know if you heard about any of of this that's going on. This news is kind of late. <clears throat> but like I said, it was brought to me because I didn't even know about this. But I don't follow them, so how would I know, right? But anyway, you guys, um, check it out. I'll be back later with some more um, interesting news that I found out about some stuff. And I would like to talk to you guys about it. And you guys have a great day. Bye.